What is going on, everyone? Samurai Solo and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3. Today I'm getting some fights in with Alexander Hernandez. And yes, I am staying in quick fights once again. Probably do maybe, maybe one more video of quick fights before we jump back into ranked. And see, first fight here, we're facing Joe Duffy. Should be interesting. It's been a while since I've used Alex, so I got to kind of get used to him here. Oh, nice job there. I'm at, No, I didn't lose the grapple, man. She was just quick to stop it. Good job. Oh, nice overhand. Yeah, this guy's throwing some nice stuff. There we go. Slip straight lead hook. Just give him something to think about here. There we go. Lead overhand. I do like using that teep of Alex. It is a level 3 teep. It doesn't do tons of damage, but still. It's a nice weapon to have. There we go. Check that kick. And Alex does have a nice top game. Forgot what the rating is exactly. I want to say maybe a 90. Or maybe I'm rating it too high. I can't remember, but it's, it's, it's good though. There we go. We got the crucifix. See if we can't hold this. Yep, block that one. Yep, block that one again. And I let him get that. He got it. <laughs> no lag whatsoever, just my fault. Can't believe I gave up that position like that. This guy's got to just drop it back. What are you doing, man? Oh, man, he gave me that. He was pretty good on the feet, too. We were pretty, felt pretty even on the feet there. I was expecting we were going to get a good, a pretty good fight here. But, um, yeah, he needs to work on that ground game. After that gets blocked a couple times, just drop to your back. All right, that was kind of a surprising finish there. But I will gladly, gladly take it. <laughs> Can't believe I gave up that crucifix, though. I really should. <laughs> that should have been the fight right there. But you see the stats here. Look at that. Very even stats. But first fight down, guys. We got to win. We will gladly take it. I'll be back with the next one. All right. Tony Ferguson, El Kakui. Oh, he's down already. Oh, I slipped into that. Oh, this time I pulled back there. Ooh, rocked again. That's Tony in this game. He's going to be able to take a ton of damage. I already know that. Yeah, we're just tearing this guy up. He's just uh, he's kind of letting us hit him over and over. He's throwing... He's trying, but yeah, he's kind of, there he goes. I knew that was coming eventually. I was watching for that one. Good thing I didn't just duck straight down. Slip straight lead hook. Ooh, another body kick. Risky body kick by him there. 
There we go, Rockham. Trying to punch through that block with that head kick. Not quite. I am throwing tons of strikes here. As I mean, he's just so hittable. We're just hitting him with everything. Rocked again. See that straight right? That unique straight right animation Alexander Hernandez has. It's a short straight right in that jab too. Perfect for close quarters. Pull straight. <laughs> yeah, just didn't really know what he was doing. We were able to just take him out with that very basic jab, 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 overhand, which is, you know, you try to do that on anyone in rank, they're going to they're gonna slip or duck under that and make you pay. Kind of just able to just stay on him and just jump all over this guy. Boom, and there's the overhand right around the block. That's all she wrote. All right, guys, two fights down. I'll be back with the next one. Connor McGregor. Appreciate the glove touch. There we go. See if we can hold this. Nope. And he pummels out of it. Good stop by Connor. That was a fake, by the way. My goodness. My man running the PS4 Pro right here. <laughs> I mean, I barely flicked it as low as you can flick that. Either that or he pre blocked There's no way he pre blocked it. I don't know what's coming. Man. Mind if I hear my dog outside barking? Ah, went for that clinch again. What happening? It's okay. This is going to be tough because you see how he's playing on the feet? He's just throwing two pieces at a time. He's not getting overly greedy. He's kind of, he's smart about it. He's staying in, man, I thought he was going to throw it straight. He's slipping. Uh, I mean, he's staying in the pocket, but he's not being super aggressive. And look at that, just two pieces, two pieces. This is going to be a tough one. Man, with Connor's footwork and that hand, the power too, of course, but the hand speed, he's so fast. Yeah, he got me rocked there. This is going to be very tough, guys. I can already tell. It's a Connor that just keeping it very simple and very basic and very, yeah, very effective. This might be it. No, we recover. He's just going to stay pressuring me now. It's I try to throw an uppercut there because I know after sometimes he throws the jab hook, he then throws the lead hook to the body. And I knew I, when I saw that combo come out, I tried to throw the uppercut. It didn't come out, and he was able to hit me with the body shot. Not too sure if I just reacted too slow and he already had got the hit stem from the body shot or what, but I thought I had timed it pretty decent, but obviously I didn't. Oh, no glove touch. Hey, I appreciate it, man. He wants to get down to business. Yeah, this is, this is going to be very hard, guys. That's why I wish I had RDA or someone, you know, I'm really familiar with. So t this guy knows what he's doing. He's keeping look see how fast Connor's hands are. This is like where Nate Diaz would actually be. Even though I'm not that great with Nate, Nate would help a lot in this fight. Or like Dustin Poirier with his boxing. He has really good boxing in this game and his power. He's just walking me down. 
But as you see, he's not throwing anything. He's not throwing like three, four pieces. He's just one, two, one, two. See? One, two. Two strikes at a time. Two strikes at a time. Dang it. I tried to. I was about to slip straight, take him down. That wasn't happening. This isn't going to last. <laughs> you can tell when you're outplayed. Uh, I thought he was going to throw a hook there. And I tried to pull an eight to straight. I try to uppercut him to hope to get a rock. That's it. Good fight, man. Yeah. Woo. When you face a Conor McGregor that knows what they're doing and you're using Alexander Hernandez. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It don't go good for you. That was a good fight, though, man. He did his thing. He did a good job with Conor. I really should have pushed. I was trying to get a, I was hoping to pull, pull counter him or slip straight him into a takedown. But every time I tried, I couldn't. I should have abandoned that game plan because he was just keeping the strikes really short. The combo short. I should have just looked to try to clinch him again. Maybe got a little desperate for the takedown. I tried not to do that, but maybe I should have. But that's all good. We lose. Good fight and bring quick fights, guys. Be back with another one. Keep this going. All right, let's see if we can regroup, guys. But hey, I said you told you once in a while you'll fight, you'll face some good players in quick fights, and there was one right there, man. Put a whooping on us. Let's focus back up here. We're going up against Justin Gaethje. Oh, throwing from too far out. Time him with that one. Now he's stacking him. Yeah, when you face a counter player that knows what they're doing, man, you have to be really careful, especially when you're using like a like Hernandez isn't terrible by any means at all, but like you know what I mean, like stat wise though, yeah, you got to be careful. You got to be careful if you're using a great fighter, you know, if you're using Nate Diaz or RDA or someone, you know, really, really good. Connor's just really deadly. Looking back, I wish I would have tried to clinch more or just go for some driving takedowns. I may not have gotten them, but I need to get more desperate with it. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning. Learn from our mistakes, though. Maybe we'll run into him again and we can try again. What's this guy doing? Did he give up? What's he doing? He's not even blocking. <laughs> I don't think he knew what he was doing. He didn't even block that. He was trying to uh, get half guard. What he might have been trying to do, maybe, is uh, you can catch the punch from that position. And if you time it right, you shake him off. And he would have got back to his feet. Maybe he was trying to do that. I don't know. Because when you do that and it doesn't succeed, you you don't have, you can't block anymore, though. But he, after a few times, I would think he would just abandon that if that's what he was doing. He might just not have been known what, what was going on. All right. That was a good rebound fight, though. Go ahead and get one more fight in, guys. I'll be back with the last one. All right, another Conor McGregor player. This is not the same guy, though. Different player. Is he playing? Hold on, let's let's wait. There he goes. Oh, whoa, I thought he was going to back away there, so there we go. I thought, like, he's going to back away after throwing that big combo stamina win, though. Man, that man stayed there and kept throwing. <laughs> Almost got rocked there for my troubles. Some of these players will surprise you. Like, you think they're going to do a certain something, they don't. There we go, bring him back down. This is what we need to do. We're going to just be grounding this guy. Take our time. Try to block some transitions. Oh, and earlier, guys, I was playing. There we go. We got him down. Before my last, after I lost, after the Justin Gaethje fight, I played two matches in a row that are not going to be shown up. They were laggy as can be. I, one of them I just, I, um, I lost. It just lag fest. Lost in the third round. And then the second one, that was another match. I just lagged like crazy. And I said, why am I playing this? Just quit. It's non-ranked. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't mind showing losses or anything. But, I mean, it was just, they weren't fun to watch. They were less fun to play. I should have just quit the first one immediately when it did that. I thought it might clear it, but it never did. And I just kept playing through it. And look at this. No lag whatsoever in this fight. It's amazing how that happens, right? You can actually block transitions. I know Connor has that sweep, so I'm watching for it. He landed a left hand there. 
It's not doing it, though. Nope, block that one. And this is what we want. Wear that cardio down a little bit. That's why I wish this was a five-round fight, right? He's overly faking too much. How do you block that? It's an R2 and up or R2 and down when they try to stand straight up there. You can block that. There we go. Block him there. See, he's faking too much. Oh, good job by him there. Let's see if he fakes again. Nope, we blocked that one. Now he's down. He didn't fake there. I thought he might. Yeah, see, you have to be careful. Like the, You do need to use fakes in this game, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, but against certain players, but you have to be careful not to, like, overly do it. Like, you can't do it too much. Because someone knows you're just going to fake, 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 you know, 20 times in a row. They're just going to be watching for that. So you do have to be careful with that. That was a good first round for us, though. That's what we need to do again. Ground him as quick as I can. Learn my lesson from that first Connor player that KO'd us. Oh, too short on that one. Dang, I paid for that. The combos. This guy's sharp on the feet. That one hurt. That. Oof. Dang, jab, jab, straight got out of the way of all that. Good defense there. there we go. Get him to bite on that takedown. Ah, uh, I let him get that. Let's go for it. Worst that happens is he blocks it. And he can't block it. Don't mind my tablet. Got a notification. <laughs> oh, elbow to the head. Dang, I can't hold that. I knew he was in a sprawl. I thought I was too slow on that one. It's funny. Blocked it, though. Actually, we, we found some pretty decent fights, guys, in, in uh, quick fights today. This guy's pretty decent. The Connor player that whooped us was good. Uh, the first fight with Joe Duffy, that guy was at least pretty good on the feet. Got in some pretty good fights today, actually. Like I said, I think I'll probably do one more video of quick fights. Uh, I was thinking of maybe using JDS for quick fights. I don't know. And then we'll jump back in ranked. Like I said, I just been wanting a little break from the game, playing ranked. Boom. There we go. We're on top. He would have got that if he would have done it. Up, oh, good catch by him. Block that. Up, oh, he didn't go backside. I was watching for that. <laughs> Had to try it. I don't mind. We're still on top. Watch out for the sweep, because it's a momentum transition when... Let's see, we can't block him here. Nope, I thought he was going to try to kick me off the other way, not push. When you first go to stack guard, if they have that sweep where they where they grab your ankles and pull you, your legs out from under you, that's a momentum transition. You almost have to pre-block that, or you're not going to you're not gonna get it. So, But after if they wait a few seconds, then the, they lose the momentum, and then you can block it on reaction. So you do have to watch out for that. I know Connor does have that sweep. When I know fighters have that sweep, I always watch for it. But then sometimes I'm not sure if fighters have it or I forget about it. And then I get caught in it one time. <laughs> but uh, he didn't go for it there. That's two rounds for us. So he's going to need a knockout. And we have a little bit of a stamina advantage there, as you can see, which is nice. Obviously, if we take him back down, the, the stamina will be better for us because it's the then grapple stamina comes into play there. Let's take our time here. I'm going to stand a little bit, but I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Let him throw a little bit here. Huge block there. See the 
total strikes. Thought I might get him with that one. I should have went for a takedown there. There we go. Yeah, look at that stamina. He knows he needs to finish. He's going pretty crazy here. He's throwing pretty hard. I thought he was going to throw that sidekick to the body. That's why I sidestepped there. As y'all know, I don't, I don't cheese that unless, you know, if they're throwing lots of that. If I think they're going to throw that, then I will. Rocked. Threw that kick from too close. Take our time. Take our time. You know, it's Connor. And we're, uh, while Alexander Hernandez is good, it doesn't take much to get a rock with Connor <laughs> or a knockout. And see, so he's looking for a pull counter or something which does extra damage. There we go. Look at that stamina, guys. Look how much stamina he's lost this round. Oh, thought he was going to step right back in. Watch my stamina. Uh, he, I, didn't, I, I held block from a body kick, and I didn't think he was going to throw it anymore. He did. Oh, that's where i got to be careful. I'll give it up to him, man. He's trying. He's staying right in here. He know he doesn't care what his stamina is at this point. He shouldn't. He needs to finish. He knows that. And I'm trying to just be careful here. Not do anything too crazy. There we go. Got that spear takedown because the stamina was too low. That's an automatic take. Well, it's not an automatic if, unless you uh, you can't block it, but you have to kind of pre-block it to know it's coming. Oh, couldn't get that. Excellent movement here on the ground. Ah, uh, was hoping I could interrupt that. I need to look up and practice about how to block that again, because that's all he kept doing. I, I should have been able to uh, to block that. I think it's, I want to say it's R2 and up. Oh, got him with that one. All right, good fight, man. You know what, guys? I think we'll, we'll, read the, we'll let the judges... Uh, We'll read, let him hear the scorecards, and then I think we'll go ahead and do one more. Try to get a finish, since that, this one went all the way. But we should win all three rounds. Yep, all three judges, 30-27. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to go and get one more fight. Last one, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. And there it is, a Honda Creative Fighter. We knew that was coming, though. We knew it was coming. So we need to be very careful. I wanted to stand up, but I really don't want to stand with these 100-level Creative Fighters. I'd rather ground them. So we'll stand a little bit, make them think a stand-up battle's coming, look for a takedown. See what kind of strikes he's throwing so far. He's going to our body pretty good. I meant to faint that. That's fine, though. Let's see if he gets straight up. Oh, yeah. Let's make him regret this. Yep, we're up. Okay. Let's see if we can keep him here. Oh, I let him just straight up get that. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I love to say the match is laggy. That's why, but it's not. <laughs> That's why I could never be a top player, because I just make too many, like, goofy mistakes like that. He's down. Good. He's staying pretty calm. Nice. He didn't sprawl out. I was watching for the sprawl out. Really thought he was going to do that. There we go. Block that one. Oh, he let me get it. Can we hold it, guys? Nope. Let's see if he goes backside. I have a feeling he will. He's trying to arm trap. And he eats a right hand there. Oh, elbow to the head. Two 
No, he let me get that again. There we go. Block that. This is it. Yep. Block that one. He's done. All right. Yeah, you got to be careful with those 100 creative fighters, guys, because they can take you out like that if you're not careful. 100 stats and everything on the feet. They're so fast and powerful. It's ridiculous. Then they have all the crazy moves as well. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. So we took one L. We did take an L. Um, like I said, we took a couple more in those laggy matches, but they were just so laggy. I, like I said, not even going to bother with those. So we, I think we found some pretty solid players today in ranked, or quick fights, excuse me. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Stay safe. Peace. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage.